Hello, and welcome to this Study Smarter screencast about how to manage your time and study here at UWA. In this screencast, we'll give you tips to help you organise your time and study more effectively, so you can get more things done and maintain a good balance between work and leisure. As Eisenhower once noted, even the best laid plans sometimes go astray. But knowing how to plan effectively is an important life skill. And as a student, it will be essential to succeeding in your studies. Leaving everything to the last minute might be tempting, but putting things off will only cause you more stress and worry down the track. If you have a plan, you'll feel more confident and relaxed about everything up ahead, which means you'll be able to enjoy your time at uni a lot more. So here are Study Smarter's three top tips for managing your time and study at university. First, you need to step back and set goals. Then you can start to prioritise and make plans. And finally, you need to work and persist at it because plans are no good unless you can put them into practice. So let's start with stepping back and setting goals. Have you ever heard the story of the blind men and the elephant? Once upon a time there lived four blind men in a village. One day they heard about an elephant that had appeared in the village, but they had no idea what an elephant was. So they decided to go and find out. When they got there, each one of them touched the elephant to see what it felt like. Oh, I see, the elephant is like a large fan, said the first man who touched the ear of the elephant. No, it's not. It's like a pillar, said the second man who touched its leg. Actually, it's more like a rope, said the third man, who was touching the tail. You're all wrong. It's like a water spout, said the last man, who felt the trunk of the elephant. They began to argue, and each insisted that he was right. A wise man was passing, and he saw this. He stopped and asked them, what's the matter? And they said, we can't agree about what an elephant is like. And the wise man calmly explained to them, all of you are right. The reason every one of you is telling it differently is because each one of you touched a different part of the elephant, and so you experienced something different. And they finally understood. The point of this story is that often you need to see things as a whole, in order to understand them properly, as seeing them as segmented parts can lead to misunderstanding. And this is a good way of approaching time management too. Instead of diving right in and trying to sort out the smaller details, you can start by looking at the bigger picture. So how can you step back and look at the bigger picture here at university? You need to set some goals. To do this, write down a time period, such as a semester, in the middle of a piece of paper. Then, jot down keywords to represent the major components of your life. For example, you might choose study, work, friends, home and health. Your next step will be to set some goals. A good way of thinking of goals is by using the SMART principle. SMART goals are specific and they have a clear purpose. They're measurable and can be checked. They're achievable and don't have too large a scope. They're realistic and based on the available time. And they're timely, which means they're prioritised and relevant. Setting a goal to be a billionaire by the age of 25 might not be very realistic, and setting a vague goal like being happy can also be quite difficult to measure. So, keeping this in mind, you need to write down some goals that you have for each of the areas you've chosen. Remember, they should relate to the specific time period. For example, if you're planning goals for your first semester of uni, one of those goals wouldn't be to graduate at the top of your class. Now you have some goals to aim for, you can start to think about the specific strategies that you might use to achieve these goals. For example, if you had a goal to get high marks in all four of your units, then your strategy might be to make sure you're studying the recommended 40 hours a week. Coming up with strategies helps to make your goals seem more achievable and gives you an outline of all the actions you'll need to put in place in order to succeed. Pause this screencast and take a minute or two to plan out your own goals for this semester. What are you hoping to achieve and what strategies will you use to get there? Now you've stepped back and looked at the big picture, it's time to start working out the details. Our next top tip is to prioritise and plan. 
By learning how to prioritise and plan out the time that you have, you'll ensure that the most important stuff gets done and you don't spend too much time on things that are less important. Your first step is to gather your planning tools. In order to succeed at university, you need to have good organisational tools. You can use a diary, a calendar or even an app on your phone to help you plan things. Most students at UWA use their Guild Diary as it outlines all the important days in semester, including the exam period and the study break. A wall planner is a good tool for helping you look at everything all together. UWA students can get a free wall planner from the co-op bookshop on the Crawley campus at UWA, so make sure you pick yours up if you haven't already. Put it above your desk or your computer or wherever you can refer to it easily and often. On your wall planner, you should mark down important events such as assignments that are due, exams, university holidays and any other things that you want to keep track of. Use colour coding or marks to help you sort different events so that you can easily see them at a glance. Once you've filled in your planner, you can start to identify when the busy times and the quiet times will be and you can plan ahead accordingly. Another really important skill for managing your time is learning how to prioritise. Make three columns on a piece of paper with the headings high, medium and low. Now sort your tasks according to how much of a priority they are. Something might be a priority because it is coming up soon or because it is important. For example, an assignment that is worth 40% of your mark. You can then put the highest priority tasks into your planner first and use the leftover time to get anything else done. Another good method of managing your time, especially in relation to a specific task, is called chunking. This means breaking down a task into components. For example, if you had to write an essay, you would need to do some research, brainstorm your ideas, plan out your structure, draft your essay, fix your references and revise and edit it. Once you've broken down your tasks into these manageable chunks, you need to work out when to complete each part by. An easy way to do this is to work backwards from your due date. So if you know your essay is due in week 12 and you have six weeks to work on it, you can set a weekly deadline for each task. This will help keep you on track and make sure that you're not leaving everything to the last minute. Do you want to know an easy way to do this? Study Smarter has developed a tool to help UWA students plan out their assignment study easily and quickly. Simply go to the Study Smarter website at this address and click on the button that says Study Smarter Assignment Calculator. Then, all you need to do is type the due date of your assignment into the box at the top of the page. And you'll get your own personalised study plan telling you all the steps you need to take approximately how much time you should be spending on each step and when you need to get things done by. You can email the plan to yourself or to your group if you're working on a group assignment. You can also add the Study Smarter Assignment Calculator as an app on your mobile device so you can keep track of things on the go. Now you've looked at the big picture and worked out the smaller details, there's one final step and that's to keep working at it and persisting. Hal Borland once said, Knowing trees, I understand the meaning of patience. Knowing grass, I can appreciate persistence. Patience and persistence are both important traits when it comes to time management, but there's a difference between them. Patience is passive, whereas persistence is active. So being persistent means you need to keep making the effort to put these techniques into practice, even if obstacles occur or if you can't see rewards immediately. A really important aspect of persistence is knowing yourself, how you work, what your strengths and weaknesses are, what you're good at and not so good at. Strategies that work for your friends might not work for you, while other strategies might be much more suited to the way that you work, and it's a really good idea to take this into account. There's no point trying to force yourself to do things which aren't suited to you. Although it's always good to try new things at least once or twice, as you never know what might work for you. 
Some practical tips for getting work done can be as simple as focusing on one thing at a time, setting out regular study hours and sticking to them each week, removing yourself from things that might distract you, such as your email or your phone, and delaying saying yes or no to things if you're not sure whether you'll be able to fit them in. Procrastination is often a problem for students and it can lead to what we call the procrastination cycle. The procrastination cycle is when you're worried or stressed about the amount of work you have to do, so you avoid doing it. This then increases your worry, which leads to more avoidance, and so on and so on. It's not a good cycle to get into, which is why having effective time management practices is so important. If you've got a tendency to procrastinate, then try to identify the triggers and come up with creative solutions. If you can't stop checking your phone, then put it somewhere on the other side of the house. If you get distracted by Facebook, ask your flatmates to change the Wi-Fi password during your study period. OK, so let's summarise some of the things that you can do to help you manage your time and study effectively. Remember to always prioritise in order to sort the important tasks from the less important ones. Plan tasks out backwards and use the Study Smarter Assignment Calculator to help you do this for assignments. Put the most important tasks in your planner first. Be realistic about what you can get done in a certain time frame. And allow yourself a bit of wiggle room, as things don't always go exactly as you plan them to. Know when you need to say no, and practice doing it. Try to combat the idea that everything needs to be 100% perfect, as this can often increase stress and anxiety and lead to procrastination or avoidance. And finally, know your own strengths and weaknesses and find strategies and techniques that work for you. We hope you've enjoyed this Study Smarter screencast. Remember, you can manage your time and study more effectively by stepping back and setting goals prioritising and planning, and working at it and persisting. For more study tips and advice, visit the UWA Study Smarter website.